Hello guys and welcome to episode 15 of my Orsha campaign in Steel Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we are going to be defending against the 30th Guards Sapper Battalion. They're coming in against the 1st Battalion of the 4760th Infantry Regiment. <laughs> uh, we are dug in with uh, fortifications so it should be a relatively decent defense for us. I'm going to bring in the 2nd Battalion to help us out even though they'll lose their dug-in status and then I'm also going to be bringing in the Ocker Wolves. I think that's probably the best bet. Let's just have a look again at what could potentially come in. So I think for the most part it's just infantry. A lot of these are actually worn down infantry units. Actually this one's pretty fresh. Uh, the 1st Battalion's definitely not. That's uh, losing, lost a few men. And the 30th Guards, there's not many men here either. So I don't even know if we need them. We could probably just do this. It's risky. But I reckon we could hold. If they bring in the AA in Phase C, that's fine. The worst thing they could do is bring in... Phase C infantry and swarm us out, but by then we should be able to hold on. It might depend on the size of the map. We're in the engagement's in a forest, so if it's like cell forest map or something, that might be relatively simple to defend. I don't know. If we keep on top of like any mortars they bring, should be simple enough. They don't have many mortars to bring anyway. This one only has one mortar. That one has no mortars. They actually don't have many mortars. So yeah, I think we're fine. We just defend with one regiment, leave them dug in. Seems like a good idea. And they'll have their three action points to defend against any future attacks. Uh, this regiment actually, interestingly enough, did push up. So I was right to think that that might happen. And so spacing my units accordingly has paid off. All right, anyway, uh, let's tactical battle. Set it up like so and jump on in. Oh, it is self forest. Perfect. All right, so this is going to be nice. I'm going to be quite liberal with my fortification placement we can have like mgs right on the edge of these hills and covering massive areas because you don't have to worry about mortars shelling them or tanks firing at them from a distance so yeah we can have an mg just cover this entire field on the right side for example uh, it'd be really nice we can just have at guns as well fire straight up the roads and uh, stop them from coming too close this is awesome perfect uh we are gonna i am gonna take some time to set up the defenses so Give me a second and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. So my defenses are down. Let's have a quick look. We've just got a couple double trenches around wherever we don't necessarily have command. Uh, we've got a long trench here with three grenadiers. I've also got the Grenfjörder back there. Uh, they actually don't have a trench yet, so we'll give them one. Uh, we have a line of MGs that are all going to move up to the edge of this tree line and just cover this uh, river crossing. Uh, then we have the Grenadiers there covering the bridge with these ones and uh, a couple of bunkers. I am doubling up on the bunkers for the most part because it's a smaller map. So just have them have more chance to kill transports as they come down the roads. Same deal here, pack 37, pack 50 mil. Pack 37s are great for covering the roads, especially against transports because they have really high rate of fire. They've got 15 round per minute, whereas the pack... 50s I think have 12 rounds per minute and then the pack 75s have um, I think even less like 10 rounds per minute maybe less uh, more double trenches on the right hand side here with the uh, barbed wire in front and then we've got uh, pack 37 pack 50 mil with the MG covering them got a bunch of grenadiers here I've also set up a command network so we've got com commandant in the center here uh, they are 1,500 meter range away from the Grenfjörder on either side, buffing all of these bunkers to a two-star veterancy. Uh, same deal here, got the Grenfjörder buffing all this slot up, and then that's going to connect to this Grenfjörder, which buffs up these two as well. So that's what we've got set up. Let's go ahead and launch the battle, 
AI shouldn't really stand a chance. I have used up all my points from the start, so we don't have any bombers in yet. But as soon as we start getting these Fokker Wolves in, I think uh, you know they're going to have absolutely no chance whatsoever. So we can get Fokker Wolves with 250 kilogram bombs and 450 kilogram bombs. And we can also get ones with 850 kilogram bombs. These ones are actually pretty nice because they reload quite quickly, I think. And they do still do quite a lot of damage to infantry units. So I might use these first. Alright, go on. Oh, this Grenfell has actually got a much smaller radius than I thought. That's okay. We're still covering enough of these bunkers. Oh, they actually have WC-52 Dushkas. Well, they're not going to be able to come down the road with them without losing them. The other nice thing about these is they aim really quickly, as you can see. I will just speed things up. They're getting their troops into position. If they're not unloading, we're just uh, killing them straight away. I might have to reinforce the left hand side. I don't actually have much more left to reinforce with though. <laughs> That's one problem with uh, how I've laid out my troops. We barely have any reinforcements. We got a few Panzerstrecks, some AT guns. I might be able to bring an AT gun up on this left side actually, just to cover against these transports if they're going to do that more often. Go ahead and do that. Let's bring in a couple. Uh, then I can bring in a couple bombers. We'll try these out. Should be able to one-shot the four-man squads. And to be honest, I might be able to just push. <laughs> we might just be able to like attack move forwards. Put one there, we'll put one there. truck should get across might get fired at no he's good okay nice uh let's get our focke wolf recons to fly about give us some targets for the bombers these are really fast though they're not the best recon in the world <laughs> they've got 620 kilometer per hour speeds you barely have time to spot your targets i think they also fly pretty high there's a bunch of units there I guess they can get to the positions you want to recon sooner than later. They're all stacked here. We may as well just bomb them. These aren't actually doing as much damage as I thought. They are in heavy cover though, so that's probably why. Yeah, then only killed two models. If that was a 250, it probably killed a bit more. Right, we've got to find the rest of this infantry. A couple of Dushkas there, let's go ahead and bomb those. And we'll just keep it sped up. I can always strafe them as well. We do still have the 20 mils on these. So technically I could strafe that Dushka if we can keep eyes on it. Can it though? <laughs> can it strafe? <laughs> Turn off the bombs. Even though it doesn't have any left. Okay, yeah, I can. Good. All right, well, that'll do its job there. Let's just bring in some more. Oh, here comes uh, another wave. 
going to be the 33rd guards arriving. And I brought in two guards rifle regiments. Okay. I guess potentially we could just bomb the transports as they come in. Well, they're all unloading there, though. Uh, let's maybe bomb like so. Let's run out of fuel. Let's get another one in. I think they're all like trying to predict where they're going to be, but they're all going to land here. Well, not land, but um, <laughs> they're going to unload. Is what I meant to say. It's a lot of units. Wow. <laughs> they're all unloading there, and we can just constantly bomb that. Surely they're going to push. This is so many units. Oh my. We could just quite simply get overwhelmed. Those bombers probably killed quite a lot of stuff actually just then. And maybe I should have just made a play to push in phase A. That would have been the best way to win this. But I guess this way we're going to do a lot of damage to their units. If they decide to push, it seems as though the AI is being incredibly passive. Oh, we're finding some units now. Maybe I can move forward the Commandant to cover more of those. I think that's as good as it gets. I guess I could shift these over. If they can all get two star veterancy. There we go, perfect. Oh, we need to get rid of these mortars as well. Where's that other one? Just gonna double bomb those for good measure. there as well. Get another one for that. I didn't think they had many mortars. Uh, I don't think they do. I think that's just like because we're on hard difficulty. They had like two and so they actually have three because of the extra 50%. Oh well, if we can get rid of them that's perfect. Oh, that had its bombs turned off. <laughs> Oops. Didn't turn them back on before I let it let leave. Yeah. See, those don't actually kill. Wait, our IG was killed? Ow. I guess the sniper? Yeah, my MG is probably going to be dead. I didn't expect this many Gavardia to be pushing on us. Pretty rough. Uh, probably best to just kind of fall back. Let the bunkers do their work. Also let my Fock Wolves do their work. Fock Wolf bombers do reload very quickly. So yeah, anywhere we see like a concentration of units, we want to be attacking them immediately. It's going to be actually quite a lot of micro. <laughs> As me thinking that they were going to not push and now they are. It's going to get pretty hectic. Jamie lost the IG. 
Oh, that grenadier got annihilated. They were in a trench as well. That's rough. Kill both those snipers, that's nice. Yeah, look how fast they reload. Wow. Glad I brought these guys in. Uh, may as well have the Fock Wolf flying about. No orders to fly backwards and forwards. Just another MG. Ah, uh, that was their MGs attacking us. Nice. There's a lot of infantry there. We need to pin them down ASAP, if not kill them. There's just so many units. Really got to keep on top of this. <laughs> it could very easily get out of hand. Because every squad we lose, we can't replace right now. Any unit that's active is going to get bombed. Simple as that. And it looks like we're going to need ammunition as well. Do we have any ammunition? Uh, we do. We have a couple. But I've got to allocate properly, otherwise we could leave an area without ammunition for the rest of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Get rid of that machine gun, we can bomb those guys. Alright, wonderful. They're going to be bringing in even more men now. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, maybe I could bring ammunition on top of the hill. For now, just get those grenadiers sorted out. The biggest problem we have here is these grenadiers use DPs, they don't use MG42s or 34s. Some of them do actually. Yeah, these grenadiers do, they have MG34s, but these ones have the DPs. Is that going to pin them? Pin some of them. Sorry about zooming in and out. I'm trying to scroll wheel the fighter window in order to make sure we have the troops coming in. Or the aircraft coming in. Phew. So far so good. I don't actually think we had any more come in in phase C. So I think these are the two that are next to them that can reinforce in phase B. So maybe we've had the swarm and it's not going to get any worse than this. <laughs> Probably just jinxed myself. It's 
especially seeing all that lot. Oh, where you going, buddy? Don't do that. Gonna wait for these bombs to land. I think we'll bomb there again. Let's do that. One fucker wolf bombing wing. <laughs> but they were gonna crash into each other then. It's good though. Managed to push those back. And these fucker wolves are gonna have a lot of kills. I think I was trying to hit that big old group of infantry there. Oh, there's a lot of infantry there as well. Oh man, look at this infantry on the right. Again, apologies for zooming in and out. I'm going to try and just use my mouse to do it from now on. Alright, perfect. Demolished all of those. Have that fall back. MG not in line of sight. I guess it's too far back. It's okay. I need to somehow get this Opal Blitz up onto the hill without it dying. <laughs> Should be okay to sneak it behind the trees there. Right, those are part of your dead, for sure. We'll look on this right side, we can just buy more in actually. Get rid of that SG. Get rid of that. Get rid of that squad. I think there's more squads back here as well. Oh, we'll keep it sped up. Major defeat in three minutes. That's good. It looks like the MG took care of that for us. I'm going to let that one go through, and then we're just going to bring in the rest. Let's just have all of those fall back. And then we can just do a whopping big strike. go. 
Bock Wolf Bummer Wing incoming. It just looks so cool how they all drop their bombs and then turn the same way. I don't have many bombs, but hopefully we did a bit. Hopefully we did a bit of damage there. All right, not long left. Just speed it up again. There is still some infantry left, but we're not going to get to the front line in time. All right, not bad. Let's have a look. 100 kills, uh, we lost a couple of MGs, we lost the IG, we lost uh, a few Grenadier squads. Uh, look at that list, wow. That Vogel, what you ate? That's a lot of kills. That's one of the bombers just did all the work. It's incredible. Alright, well, happy with that. Good decision not to overcommit to that defence. We definitely didn't need to. Yeah, so they brought in the two that were right next to it, which is good because it means that none of those can initiate next turn. Well, we destroyed one of them. Nice. Actually, since we didn't bring in that other regiment and the other one's routed, we could probably make a little bit of a counterattack there. That's nice. And uh, this is another attack we kind of expected. Uh, what could we use to defend those? We have the Night Bomber group and we have the 51st Fighter Wing. We could use the Fighters. I think the Fighters might be a good idea. And then have another regiment join us in B. We could use the first 215th assault regiment. Actually, these are elite troops. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Surprising they attack that one instead of the 61st security regiment. Maybe they can't attack that one because it's the other side of the woods, actually. Yeah, that would probably be why. <laughs> There's barely anything left in there. Honestly, I might not even need to commit anything. Because what's the worst that could happen? Maybe they bring in their bombers? Actually, yeah, we should bring in the fighters just in case. Uh, but I'm only going to bring in the fighters. I'm not going to bring in anything else to defend. I don't need to. Uh, because they should be able to defend this on their own. Alright, uh, let's tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. I think we have enough men. Yeah, I guess it depends on the front. And we also have AA here. They're not going to be bringing in any aircraft. Probably because we have fighters. Or maybe because they've got AA. Who knows. But they are going to be bringing in all of their infantry. And this is Lindner. Uh This is a big old map. This is... The 3v3 version of Lenina. Um, okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to have some work to do on this defense. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. The defenses are set up. Let's quickly go through them. So on the left-hand side, we've got a couple of shoots and entrenches behind all the barbed wire. I've got a couple of shoots and further up with an MG42 bunker. MG42 for the building there. We've got Pack 37 covering the road. Also got a pack uh, 75 further back. Uh, then we have the Schutzen here. There's um, Sturm Schutzen here. They have the shorter range MP44s, so just keeping them in cover. Got a couple Sturm Schutzen to push up into these trees. Uh, Schutzen in the trenches to be able to engage at longer ranges. Uh, same deal here. I was tempted to make these Sturm Schutzen, but I think it's good to have them like that. So if any infantry comes through here, we can hit those as well with the Schutzen Fjord behind. Uh, all of these will be three star, which would be good. Now uh, we've got uh, spaced out machine guns here. Uh, Pack 75 is going to be able to shoot up this road and also onto the hill if needs be. Uh, a few shoots in around here going to be covering the uh, river crossings. A couple of Sturm shoots are going to be covering the top of the hill. And then we can have the shoots in for down here, giving them extra veterancy in the shoots. And also got the gun pits uh, set out. Well, gun pits basically next to the Schutzenfjörder so that in the future I can bring in the Flak 38s uh, in order to chew down some infantry as well. 
Uh, then we've got the MG42 setup. The reason I didn't want to bring in the Flak 38s from the start is so that I didn't throw or have them in concentrated areas where a lot of infantry is pushing. Uh, if they're not pushing too aggressively, then I can bring up the Flak 38 because then they won't get overwhelmed and die. And I don't want these to die because I want the AA um, in place for future attacks. Uh, we're going to have to keep on top of their mortars. That's going to be very important. So every tick I'm going to be buying in another ME109 and uh, we're going to be basically hitting those mortars as best we can. Right, off we go. Yeah, most of the MG42s are deployed in buildings um, as opposed to on top of trenches because I believe the defensive bonus is better for MGs in buildings as it is on trenches. Well, we can already see a 120 mil there. I'm going to have to be pretty quick actually with uh, getting in the fighters otherwise we're going to be in for a bad time especially where I've clumped up the units like this I was I'm basically very reliant on my fighters killing these uh, mortars. If I, they don't, then uh, we're in trouble. And we want the ones with the 30 mils. Although these have, what, the 220 mils? Is that 220 mils or just... Okay, never mind, no. We'll use the G6U4s. Actually, those are G6R6, we'll use those. That's important. As we've got eyes on there, we're going to need uh, a recon one as well. Already mortaring the crap out of us, annoyingly. Thankfully, 120 mils aren't terribly accurate. But where we have such concentrated units, it's not really going to matter. The gun pod, like, floating a bit there, there, that's weird. Yeah, also... Planes are nowhere near as good as they used to be at uh, strafing mortars, so we got that fun to work with as well. <laughs> but at least they're fast. Uh, they'll keep on target. And they'll keep going in for runs as long as they've got sight. And we should have sight as soon as we get the old recon up. The recon can strafe as well, just to keep things pinned down. Oh, we are going to have to be careful about the OB there. Uh, let's go strafe that, that's going to do a lot of damage otherwise. I'm not sure we're actually going to pin that much. No, <laughs> not at all. Oh well, gives it something to do. Uh, we lost line of sight on that side, so we'll just bring the fighter back over. All right, speed things up. Then we're going to have like loads of fighters just swarming around. That's what we need. G6 R6s, please. So it looks like... They're only going to be able to kill one mortar with each sortie, which is kind of annoying. I would have hoped we'd be able to get more out of the fighters, but as I mentioned, they've changed the, uh, the damage that mortars take from aircraft, well, light support weapons in general. Like over time, fighters strafing has been like slowly nerfed, so it is a warranted nerf to be fair, but uh, <laughs> still unfortunate for us in this battle. I'm going to have to have the recon go find this other one on this side. We need to start strafing these. Got a bunch of infantry pushing forwards on our left flank. Uh, if there's a Flying vehicle, we should hit that first. Okay, 
so that pinned them both down, which is perfect. Uh, let's go see what's going on with that mortar. I might actually strafe that supply, that's more important. I have another fighter coming in and strafe that one. These ME109s, they hang around for a long time, the recon. The bad thing about fighters, they take ages to uh, reload once you use up all their ammunition. I'm on this mortifier. These bunkers surely going to go down. Doesn't matter too much if they do, because we still have the MGs in position. But, yeah. I'm going to have to cover off this left-hand side as well with some more infantry. Maybe get some uh, Sturmschützen into these trees. That might be a good idea. Nice. There's another one down. I'm gonna have to bring this over. And I'm gonna have to buy... Oops, didn't mean to buy that. <laughs> I meant to buy one of these. <laughs> another recon. Just finish off that one. Okay, good. That one's almost run out of ammunition. Let's see if we can strafe this 120 mil. We do have a 30 mil in the nose. I wonder how much damage that does. Maybe it does more damage than the 20 mil gun pods, actually. Be good to test. That poor mortar crew. Right, let's see how well the uh, G6U4 does with the 30 mil in the nose. Ooh, they do way more damage. Okay, we'll buy some of those. I do need my recon though. Yeah, they do lots of damage if they get time on target. That's really nice. And one good thing about fighters is they only cost six, so I can bring one in a tick at the moment, which is really nice. Yeah, as long as I'm keeping on top of these mortars, we really shouldn't have too much to worry about. Big trouble is they keep bringing in more and more. Uh, let's focus again on the supply first. <laughs> nice, we killed there, uh, both there. Very good. I'm just going to keep on top of the fighter micro. And in phase B, they're probably just going to charge in with like a load of infantry or something. I don't know. So far, so good. Let's see what we find. I think there's a second mortar firing that I don't have the fighter attacking. Unless that's the one we just strafed. There uh, must be. All 
our interface beat. And here comes the swarms of units. If I just have that flying around here, uh, we could probably just target anything we see on the road. If we can get both of those. Nice, we managed to kill one of them, I think, before they unloaded. Actually, no, both of them managed to unload. That is unfortunate. Let's keep flying over this. I want to see if the infantry gun falls back. The GU or G6 U4. Got a lot of damage in there. That's nice. Keeps losing line of sight. Hmm. Got the same trouble with recon aircraft again. They're too fast. Let's fly across the front, see if we can find more 120 mils to target. And I'll probably just get all of my aircraft to attack it at the same time. So we can wipe it out in one good run. Damn, look at those Abtos get mown down. That's another mortar. Make sure we target that. Oh, another OB we got to take care of. And another one on the right as well. Well, hopefully we can just take that out in one run. If we just d team up now with these fighters, we should be able to just one run them, which would be nice. And oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Never mind. Good on that side. That's good. we just spot stuff we want to take out and we can yeah we can just have like these triple teams go and go and hit them in the meantime I, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna bring in those Sturmschutz into the left hand side and I'm probably gonna bring in the flax as well for now since we've taken out the majority of the mortars I think it's just 82 millimeter mortars we've got to take care of now, which are easy enough to take out. Another one just there. Um, make sure we t attack that. <laughs> Just constantly bringing in mortars. This is ridiculous.
And the only bad thing about what we just did <laughs> by buying in those other units is <laughs> we made it an odd number, which means that when we get our reinforcement points, there's always going to be a point where we just never have enough. Just. Did I only bring in one, actually? Oh, that may be why. I need to bring in another one. And that one should get pinned. Good, there's another one here somewhere. For some reason, I didn't see it then. It's definitely there. Mm, I guess we can hit that one. Oh, we saw it there again, briefly. That's a lot of units. And <laughs> damn. That's not good. Get a, a couple planes to come straight for these. So many. So many. That's going to be another mortar, isn't it? <laughs> can see it already. Nice. Good run, boys. Good run. Austin MG. What was that? Over here. Not good. I should have probably put maybe a an AA there. I don't know. Do I still have one? Actually, we do. We have a couple of them. I could I could bring those in. Uh, they need like one thousand meter range. So we could just have them. Like so, make sure they unload, and then uh, yeah, should be fine. Let's go spot the ones on the left hand side. There should be some ready to go soon, I hope. Not, we can buy a couple more. Oh, this one's going to be overwhelmed as well. Eesh. Not good. Alright, let's just bring in some extras to take care of those. I think as long as they're pinned, we're okay. Ah, they're mortaring my AA again. Damn, there's just so many mortars. It'd be nice if I could just finish off the mortars and focus on something else. <laughs> I 
I guess if I have just one focus each, then they will eventually kill them. I don't have to keep microing them from each one. That would probably be an easier way to do it. It gives me a lot less to do. Oh, they did kill the bunkers down on this side. Just noticed that. Right, on this side, the avatar should get wrecked by the Sturmschutzen. We lost the Schutzen in the open here, unfortunately. Actually, let's just unload that one on that side. And this one can unload, like, here. Having the shoots in there was a good idea. These don't have targets, we may as well be strafing these infantry. Oh, did they manage to get into range there? Oh, that's the SG. Need to focus that down. Yeah, the SG's killing my black. So much to do. I need something to pin that. Kill that, please. My MG's gone down on this side. That's not good. Bring up some Sturm shoots in to replace them, just in case things get a bit hairy. Ten minutes left. Uh, it may be worth moving this back so we don't lose it. Just keep it in cover. All right. All right. Now I just need to make sure we're hitting the SGs because those have like long enough range to do damage. All right. Surely we've taken out all the mortars now. We've killed so many mortars. All the eighty-two millimeter mortars. There's just been so many of them. Another one back there? No, those must be AT guns. Damn. I would use my mortars as well, but <laughs> I've got enough micro going on as it is in the air. Um, yeah, I'm just going to buy all of my aircraft. To keep bringing these in. Because we can, we can just strafe an entire front. I think these Kavadi must have run out of ammunition. The only reason they pushed like that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, my flag 20 mil died? Where did it die? Here? Oh, it would have been the one here. Yeah, that died. That's unfortunate. Here comes the swarm, though. Oh, what? Did I cancel their orders? What the hell? Oops.
You're these guys. <laughs> Aircraft swarming overhead. Just hoping you're not the next target. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> it's just so cinematic. It's just awesome. I love it when you get those angles in in this game. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Alright, they're going to have a major defeat in a minute 52, which is fine by me. Let's get the rest of these in. Okay, that's all of my aircraft purchased. of these are going to run out of fuel soon. Hopefully not the ones hitting the SGs, because those SGs are a nightmare. Like any units that reveal themselves from a distance are going to get destroyed by those SGs very, very hard. Like this unit here probably got wrecked by that SG there. Alright, we're nearly done. Those Sturmschützen are just murdering these guys as they come through here. It's like the perfect range engagement for them. Keep them falling back. And we're all good. Damn, look at this train. Oh, are they all different types? That would be that would be why. All right. Well, job done. Total victory. We got a total victory. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, 196 kills, the six losses. What did we lose? Uh, three units of Schutzen, two MD42s, and a flak. 38. It's a shame we lost that flak. I should have noticed that dying. But yeah, really good. Otherwise. Really, really good defense. Again, I'm glad I didn't overcommit because it means that we can use the regiments nearby to attack the routed units next turn. Boom. There goes that one. Oh, we are seriously breaking down that attack in the top side. <laughs> those, those attacks, I was like, that top side's the weakest side. And we just made two crucial defenses against them just broken down all of these units i can attack this one attack this one attack uh one of these at least actually i might be able to attack that one as well can that one be attacked by other units no i'll probably take out the uh third guard staff battalion but yeah unfortunately guys it's been my time <laughs> this was very very good we did very well uh we can also attack this rounded unit on the bottom side so yeah, very, very happy with uh, the position we're in right now. And we'll continue to make counterattacks and so on in the next episode. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.